Listen, folks, even though the MAGA chuds that hate watch this channel um, will tell me that I am suffering from full-on Trump derangement syndrome, and they're probably right, I still can admit with my libtard brain, even though I'm not a liberal, uh, that there's one good thing about Donald Trump. One thing that he did that I think that most of us in this country will be thankful for to him eternally, in spite of all of the damage that he caused. He single-handedly crushed both the Bush and Clinton dynasties, which was really nice to see. To see him clown on Jeb Bush and shit on George Bush's legacy, call out a Hillary Clinton, like all of this was great because those two families were like stank on shit. They were like cockroaches. They wouldn't go away. They, they just won't get out of the spotlight. And single-handedly, you have this rookie enter politics and just embarrass them thoroughly. And that was great to see. However, in exchange for him crushing uh, two dynasties that we all hate is a new dynasty that is poised to be worse than the Bush and Clinton dynasties, perhaps um, combined, depending on how, how much longevity this dynasty has. And of course, I'm talking about the Trump dynasty, because there is already a plan in place once Trump is out of power, because there's going to be a vacuum that Trump leaves when he inevitably leaves office. Now, who knows if that's uh, on November 3rd or maybe it's 2024. Either way, the Trump era will come to an end and there's going to be someone else who wants to fill that space that Trump occupied, right? Maybe it'll be another Republican. Ted Cruz seems to like want to be that edgy outsider now, even though he's an establishment politician. But one individual, or at least a multitude of people who seem to be sure bets, is the Trump children themselves. And it seems like MAGA chuds are already yearning for that. They very clearly want the Trump family to continue his legacy after he leaves office. And as you can see from this shirt that this boomer is wearing, they would like Ivanka to run. And then after Ivanka, Don Jr., then Eric Trump, then Tiffany, then Barron. I mean, Barron could be an Antifa super soldier. Who knows? But they want him to run. Um, and I know that you've probably seen this image. Your crazy racist uncle on Facebook has probably shared it at least once and you know you're probably gonna say they're just triggering the libs mike they're not serious about this but they are serious about this they are serious about this they want the trump dynasty to continue on and on and on and on i mean if they had their way they would make america a monarchy um and you don't have to take my word for it take their word for it because the telegraph actually asked maga chuds at a recent trump rally Hey, what do you think about Trump Jr. running? They were very, very open to the idea, to say the least. Donald Jr. is on his way to something, something big. And he would have a big base behind him. Uh, right here. I think he's definitely got the skills for it. It's all up to him if that's what he wants to do. I mean, I've seen him speak. I, I know him actually personally as, well, personally as well as his father. And he's a very intelligent, bright young man. And I shouldn't see why not. It's all if you have the stomach and you want to go through what he's bothered with. I need him to separate himself from his dad. Yeah. Um, but I definitely would consider any Trump. I think they're all very well educated and I think they're all, um, they have a unique perspective of America. Although they grew up very privileged, I think they've been able to bring themselves down to very common levels. And I think that's what makes them di a dynamic family. Mm -hmm. I think that if he had the same patriotism and enthusiasm that he has right now and that his dad has, I would most certainly support him. And if he stays conservative and if he stays pro-America, uh, then yes, I would support him. Right you know who's going to be his campaign, biggest campaign advisor and manager is probably going to be the father. And the good thing about Don uh, Sr. and Don Jr. is they go on the defensive and then counter punch on the offensive. I don't see that his, his uh, the crowds and everything would be diminished in any way. He, number one, he's a businessman. He's very pragmatic. He believes that freedom is the way to go, not big government. And that's, that's what it's all about. The reason people come to the United States is because they want freedom. Mm -hmm. If they wanted big government, they would stay where they were. They want to have freedom of religion, freedom of speech, right to bear arms, and to make their own futures through their hard work and labor. He has compassion like his father. He could communicate like his father, and he's, he's above everything, he's humble, very humble. There is no attitude 
nothing about him like that that would I would feel comfortable walking up to him. So that video made me lose faith in humanity because regardless of like what shitty politician is ousted, they're always going to have someone who benefits within their family. Nepotism is something that runs deep in this country. We basically live in an oligarchy. And, you know, you're not just going to defeat Trumpism and Trumpian politics by getting out Donald Trump. You know, that Trump era will persist probably for quite some time after Trump is out of office. And his legacy might just continue on with one of his children. His supporters are down for it. Like, even as someone who supports Bernie Sanders. Let's say Bernie Sanders hypothetically became president and then he served his two terms and then his son Levy Sanders wanted to become president. Even if I agreed with Levy Sanders on the policies and he would continue on Bernie's legacy assuming I didn't hate Bernie Sanders after eight years, which let's be honest, I probably would be dissatisfied because that's the type of person I am. But like, even if, let's say, like in a perfect world, Bernie was president and Levy wanted to carry on that legacy, I would be reluctant to support him. I mean, maybe I would, but I would probably opt for someone else who wanted to carry on Bernie's policy legacy other than his son, because I think that political dynasties are a very, very problematic thing for democracy. Like, it shouldn't happen, but they don't see it that way. So one person says he would have a big base behind him, and I think that she's right about that. I think that Trump's base would easily get behind Trump Jr. or Ivanka Trump. It doesn't matter who, as long as they have Trump as their last name, I think that that base would gravitate towards uh, towards Donald Trump, or, uh, towards one of his family members. What I will say is that if somebody has the same politics as Donald Trump, but conducts themselves in a more uh, grown-up manner, they could be much more effective. Like, if Donald Trump wasn't such a blistering buffoon and, like, always so arrogant and never shuts the fuck up, I think he could be a lot more effective. But he he's in over his head. Like, he doesn't know what he's doing. But, like, if you are actually politically savvy and you just, like, have that Trump facade and you try to carry on the Trump legacy... I mean, you could do some damage. And Trump's kids are probably more politically savvy than him. But it's funny, one guy says, I think he's definitely got the skills for it about Trump Jr. Now, what do you mean by that? What skills? Like, what qualifies him to literally be the president of the United States because his last name is Donald Trump? Now, I will admit, like, if given the choice between uh, Trump Jr. or Ivanka and Donald Trump, I think his kids are probably much more smarter than he is, but the bar is really low. Uh, but they don't even care. Like, as long as somebody has Trump as their last name and they're going to do the same thing, same harmful policies, they're going to get behind them. Like, this really proves that it is a cult of personality. Like, how often did you hear one of those chuds talk about policy? There's no policies. One person said that, um, I would definitely consider any Trump just because Trump is their last name. Uh, and one lady says, if he stays conservative... And if he stays pro-American, I would definitely support him. What does that even mean? I mean, of course, he's going to stay conservative. But what does pro-American mean? Like, you have to describe what that means to you. Are you saying that, like, a Democrat isn't pro-American? Like, what does that even fucking mean? That's not a policy prescription. So if you just, like, are a politician and you literally lube up a gun and fuck yourself with it and hump an American flag... Does that constitute you being pro-American? I mean, what's the standards? If your standard is, oh, well, be pro-American, that's so far-reaching and broad and amorphous that that can mean anything. So what they're effectively saying here is, look, I don't give a fuck. I don't care about policy. Hell, Trump's policies probably hurt me directly. But if they have Trump on their last name, I'm going to go for them. And I want one of his uh, family members to carry on this legacy. Oh, America, 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 America. You never cease to disappoint me. <laughs> I want to say that, you know, I think these people are maybe 
on the fringes, and once once uh, Trump's out of power, you know nobody else will really be able to truly recapture the magic. But who the fuck knows?